My full name is Vanessa Elaine Pagan. Um, how old are you, Vanessa? Uh, I'm 39. Okay. And are you single, married, living with somebody, dating somebody? I'm divorced and dating. Do you have um, children? Yes, I um, have. Well, I've had six children. Uh -huh. um, and what are their ages? Ages uh, 23, 19, 17, 14, 3, and 2. And you have girls, boys, what's your Three breakdown? girls, three boys. Wow, yes. even three girls, three boys. That's very unusual. Mm -hmm. Do they live with you? Uh, just one of them. Okay. And are you responsible for um, their support? Or yes. Okay. For all six support? No, just, just the one that's with me. Just the one at home. Mm -hmm. And what is your current living situation? Are you in shelter, renting, living with relatives? I My um, status is still homeless. I'm in a stabilization um, program. Um, which is uh, pays seventy percent of my rent for a year, and I paid um, thirty percent. Mm -hmm. Are you employed now? No, I'm not. Okay. How long have you been unemployed? Uh, for about a little over a year. Okay. And what was your last job? It was customer service at a TJ Maxx. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did you earn enough when you were working at TJ Maxx to support yourself and your family? No. Okay. Were you working full time? Yes. Okay. And what income do you have now? Are you on unemployment, TFDC? T, T yeah, NFADC, oh, okay. transitional needs for families. Transitional assistance yeah. for the families with <laughs> dependent families. children, You're right. right, TAFDC, okay. Um, what other jobs have you had um, in the past? I've had a uh, cashier, waitressing, um, assembly, child care. And that's it. Well, you've done a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's your educational background? Um, I went to the tenth grade. I got a GED. Mm -hmm. I've had some college and training. Okay. What kinds of trainings have you taken? Uh, cosmetology, CNC operator, um, brake assembly. Um, I think that yeah. that's about it. What's the CNC? Trade? That's a uh, CNC operator. Is just um, it's a lot of mathematics and um, um, using machines. Okay. Um, far as uh, I guess like uh, when you go into a, like a plan or anything, mm -hmm. being able to fix or detect uh, the problems that the machine are experiencing. Huh. Um, so they teach you operations. Huh. And what's your family background? Were you raised in a financially secure household? What was your family like? Um, I was a single. I was the only child living in, with a, a home. My mother, she was single by herself. Mm -hmm. um, and financially, I guess we were kind of um, mid-income. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I grew up in a family with just me until I was 13. and. I guess we kind of uh, was like middle middle mm -hmm. income. What did your mother do? Uh, she did medical records, oh. um, and she worked. Um, she did some um, medical assistance. Okay, mm -hmm. so medical background. So, how did you learn about the Women to Women program, Vanessa? Uh, my stabilization mentor. Um, I told her the problems I was having with uh, looking for and getting a job, and she referred me to the Woman to Woman program. Mm -hmm. And so what about the program uh, made you decide to enroll? I told myself at the beginning of the year, if I wasn't working, that I was going to take some kind of program or classes. And this was uh, the first thing that was offered to me, and I looked into it, and I um, knew that I could use computer skills. Mm -hmm. I knew that I could use help as far as interviewing. Mm -hmm. um, and the program has a lot of things that I'm kind of uh, behind in or mm -hmm. I need help with. Mm -hmm. And I felt it could be beneficial mm -hmm. as far as me um, getting, moving ahead mm -hmm. and getting a job. Because as far as like typing, I, I pick and punch and I'd like to be efficient in typing. Okay. Um, and just knowing about the computers, where mm -hmm. to go in each program. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I've done it, I've even went to college for computer technology, yeah. but it's been so long yeah. until I've lost it. Right. Um, so it sounds like, so you know, you knew that it was a computer programming, computer training. Mm -hmm. um, it sounds like you also knew about the mock interviews. Mm -hmm. Any, anything else specific? It sounds like you know other things about the program. 
what other things do you know about the program? I know we are supposed to, I think, uh, get mentors. Mm -hmm. um, we have one-on-one -on -one meetings where I guess you discuss one-on-one -on -one with your mentor how things are going. Mm -hmm. um, also the the web um, blogging. Mm -hmm. I've learned about that during our orientation. Mm -hmm. So what are you hoping to get out of the program? What's the most important thing for you when you think about the program? What are you hoping to get out of it? Um, being confident in using the computer and, and having interviews. Mm -hmm. Feeling comfortable with myself and being able to be in a situation um, that is scary for most of us. Um, you know, interviews are definitely make you nervous, so mm -hmm. preparing me for those situations um, I think is, is, is going to help me out a lot. I think that's what I'm going to get out of it. Yeah, I, interview scare everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so do you have a specific career in mind that you're thinking about? Yes, um, I just finished uh, Kaplan with the medical billing in Coden and I would like to go there for a career goal, um, get set up doing something in the, the medical, um, secretary, medical billing, mm -hmm. something in that area. Oh, so that was good that you went to Kaplan. Mm -hmm. Were you satisfied with it? Uh, for the most part, yep. um, the job thing was, uh, you know, is the most, uh, the area where I'm not so satisfied, but uh, little by little, it's, 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 they're, they're looking out, I guess. Mm -hmm. I received uh, phone calls for interviews, and I did go on one Friday, um, so that's kind of lift my spirits up a little bit Good. about the school. Good. So. How long was the training? Um, seven months. Seven months. That's kind of long. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good. So what, as you enter the Women to Women program, what are some of your fears or challenges that you anticipate or fears about the program? Do you have any? Maybe you don't have any. I, I don't. Know. And I did. Yeah. I, when I went over it, I left that question blank. I couldn't think of any <laughs> fear that I have. <laughs> Good. So what are some of the things that you'd like out of life? Out of life, I would like a nice home, mm -hmm. nice car, mm -hmm. and just to be able to take care of my family successfully mm -hmm. without the help of the DTA and, you know, all those, uh, you know, which is nice, but I would like to do it independently, be mm -hmm. able to take care of my family. And so what inspires you to want to achieve those goals in your life? What's, what's your inspiration, your motivation for wanting My children. Yeah. I want to see them grow up in a better situation than I did. Um, I would like to be a support and for them to look back and say, well, my, my mom did this and that. So for um, them to use as a, a guide or tool in their life, maybe, mm -hmm. that they can do better. So they inspire me to, to want to do better. What do you think you've learned in your life or what per particular personal qualities that you have that you think um, will help you be successful in achieving your goals? Um, in my life, I have fallen. I took a fall. I am human. Um, and I feel that it's not the falling, it's the getting back up mm -hmm. and to keep going. Um, um, life is, is filled with a lot of obstacles. Um, things that's going to help me be successful is, is my past. I've had um, a bad past and I would like to, to make it better and I strive to do things better than I have done them and not letting my the, the bad things that I've gone through in life, not let them get in my way of uh, the future. Mm -hmm. um, you have to work for what you want, and it's not going to be given to you on a silver platter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I feel that that is um, something that's going to gonna, gonna push me or Keep you moving forward. Keep me moving Keep forward. forward. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. What is the one thing you'd like um, people to know about you? Or you'd most want people to know about you? Like that I am human. Mm -hmm. That I do make mistakes. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm still willing and I'm still trying. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to beat it. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get to where I want to be one day. Mm -hmm.